Hola, P10 family. Te extranto tanto. I miss you guys so, so much. And I was thinking, I know that we are not in school right now, but you're still learning with your moms and dads and grandmas and guardians. And I know that we all have been feeling some really big feelings. So I wanted to remind all of you that we have been practicing lots of strategies for when we start to feel big feelings throughout the day or the week. And I know that I have been really using these strategies to help me feel better. And I've also been able to remind people that I love and teach them some of the strategies that we've learned. So I'd like to take a moment to think, hmm, based off of the mood meter that we have, that we use every day to determine how we feel, what zone are you in today? Maybe you feel a little bit mad or frustrated. Sometimes if I feel kind of anxious, I might be in the red zone. Maybe you're starting to feel happy Maybe some of us kind of enjoy not going to school every day. I know we have a few friends that really love mommy school. Or maybe you've been feeling a little bit blue. Maybe you've been missing your friends and your teachers and people that you usually see. I know that sometimes I've been feeling kind of blue. Finally, you might feel green. You might feel calm. You might feel good. And every single one of these emotions that you feel is okay and is awesome and helps you be the amazing person that you are. So if we are maybe in a zone that makes us feel a little bit angry or a little bit mad, the first thing that we want to remember is that it's okay to feel that way. But the next thing we can do is we can use some strategies that we've learned, like taking a deep breath, putting our hand on our chest, or even counting to 10. So for today's first little class, I wanted to pick one of those strategies so that we together could practice calming our bodies down if we start to feel some of those really big feelings. So the strategy that I usually like to use is just to take three deep breaths. We have practiced a lot of ways that we can do this. Some of us like to breathe in through our nose like we're smelling a really great flower or our favorite food we eat for dinner. So you might breathe in like this. And then we breathe out like we're breathing out or blowing out candles on a cake like this. So let's go ahead and let's take some deep breathing breaths together right now. I'll start by breathing in my nose and out my mouth. Now, I want you to go at your own pace and do this three times. When you're all done, you can move on. I'll do mine right now. And if you finish before me, you can just watch what I'm doing and be patient while I finish, okay? Wow. It's really cool how just doing something so simple like breathing into your own body can calm you down a little bit. Now, there are times where even when I take deep breaths, I don't feel that much calmer, and that's okay. I can maybe go on a walk, I can talk to someone that I know loves me and supports me, or I sometimes choose to draw a picture. I'd love to hear how you are making sure to have a calm, safe body when you are at home. So feel free to comment, text me, give me a phone call, um, know that I miss you, and grandmas, moms, dads, you are doing an amazing job. Thank you. Bye, everybody.